Uh, this is social media observability, how to improve your brand by ship hosting on LinkedIn. I need to preface this talk by the fact that I'm a suburban dad. So obviously, I have a smoker. I smoke meats and fish and veggies and all kinds of things. It's a fun hobby that pro uh, produces delicious foods. So there's this common trope that floats around LinkedIn. And as a product person, I spend most of my time on LinkedIn. But it's this positive story about giving everyone a chance, wrapped in a humble brag for the poster. So it goes something like this if you haven't seen this one yet. So a candidate was late. HR said, cancel the interview. I said, no, I'm giving them a chance. And then you insert a wholesome reason that candidate was actually late. Um, and of course, the candidate turned out to be the company's top performer. Look how great I am for seeing this in this person, right? Duh. So uh, this actually isn't last week. This actually was a few months ago, uh, and I did not update the slide, yay. Uh, we, meaning me and a few friends of mine who might be in this room, but I'm not going to tell you who they are, were in Slack, which of course is where all good decisions start. So I'm not going to, you're not going to read this thing. The main point is here, someone had an idea, someone helped edit it, and uh, we uh, you know, made it double space because that's how you have to post it on LinkedIn. So this is the slide. Uh, it says, I had a candidate come in 10 minutes late. HR said, cancel the interview. But I said, no. She came in, and I gave her a chance. As it turns out, she was late helping her friend smoke meat, and her friend's smoker broke down. She stepped up. Uh, she came in for the interview 10 minutes late, reeking of smoked meat. I hired her on the spot. Hashtag meat leadership. You can follow that hashtag on LinkedIn, by the way. So who was her friend, by the way? Maybe. So you know how they say, don't read the comments? Well, we're going to dive into some of these comments. They're great. So a lot of the initial comments were from my small uh, social circle on LinkedIn, and a lot of them were just great dad jokes here. Uh, I'd make a meat pun, but I'd probably butcher it. Uh, I like this one that mentioned to hire the friend who smokes meat during business hours. Uh, and yeah, if you bring me a, spo a smoked brisket to your interview, your chances of getting hired will go up dramatically. So it was just dad jokes on dad jokes, one after the next. Um, so I want to make a t-shirt of this one. This is just great. So at this point now, this has become the most popular thing I've ever posted on LinkedIn, which I'll be honest is really not that hard to do. So uh, I don't have a SoundCloud, so I felt at this point I had to come in and with my court blog and be like, yo, by the way, this blew up. Check out my blog. It's awesome. So the next day, the comments start getting more and more confused. Um, who smokes meat immediately before an interview, right? Uh, and what's the lesson here? Should I smoke meat? Yes, Chris. So now we're on to comparing smoking meat and vaping and tanning. This one didn't make any sense to me at all. And this one is great. If you had said she was uh, impoverished, or helping the impoverished or sickly, I might have been sympathetic. But smoking meat? First world problems. No, Gary, don't you see the point of this post? I'm the better person who saw the talent that others would have missed. Now the comments just move on to complete random lists. Who the heck smokes their own meat? What are you talking about? What position was she interviewing for? Does it matter? <laughs> and then not just a nonsense. My friend loves smoking beef. Cool. Uh, after two days, people are getting on to me. Uh, I think this is a satire, everyone. Uh, I saw a very similar post. I tend to agree. By Friday, the comments are just getting crazier. We're about 350,000 views. They're just fighting using hashtags. Uh, my followers get it, Matthew. Uh, and now it's just got past silly and becomes art. <laughs> Your hiring practices discriminate against vegans, vegetarians, and meat lovers, blah, blah, blah. My favorite is mentioning that someone's going to come in in a meat dress, and then they're going to quit, and um, you know that they're going to say they don't need my money, right? So. I just thought it would be funny at this point to have the protagonist of this story come in with their own version. Leah, are you here somewhere? Where are you at, Leah? There we go. Leah right there. Leah helps me out, my coworker, Leah. So Leah posts her side of the story where <laughs> her friend Smoker broke down, right? Like we're making this a real thing. So then, of course, I share her post of that nonsense from my original post because it's all social media. You got to share it together. And needless to say, Yes, this is the weirdest <laughs> leadership story you've ever heard. So what was the outcome? you got to monitor everything. That's a DevOps thing. First, it left LinkedIn and landed on an Instagram meme site called LinkedIn Flex. You should check it out. It's hilarious. Uh, there was a slight increase to the views of my LinkedIn profile, <laughs> like one or two. I don't think 71,000% is a thing. Uh, there was a massive increase in the number of people that landed on the Chaos Search LinkedIn page. 
But most importantly here, people actually clicked on and went to my blog post, the one that I commented on at the very beginning of this thread. And at the end of the day, I'm just happy that someone read my blog. We are still going. It has 1.2 million views. There are hundreds of comments. I created a bit.ly so you can go check them all out yourself. Thank you very much.